This video will teach you how to stain a blood smear on a glass slide for microscopy, rendering blood components like red and white blood cells, as well as bacteria and parasites, dark enough to be analyzed. First things first, let's identify our items. We'll need a Coplin jar, and we're actually going to need two of these. One is going to be for the slides while they stain, and another is going to be to rinse off the stain slides. Then there's the Giemsa stain solution, and we're going to need this small bottle, not the taller one that we may have in the cabinet. Then we use Evian water as our buffer for the solution, and that is because it has just the right pH of 7. And lastly, we have our box of slides, and these slides are already stained, and in this video I'm going to be doing a restaining, but they may be unstained and not already purple like you see here. Now the first step is going to be to put the concentrated Giemsa stain into the Coplin jar that will then dilute with water, but first, grab the 1,000 milliliter pipette, set it to 1 milliliter or 1,000 microliters, and then we are going to put four of them. So grab the pipette tip, put it in the Giemsa bottle, and we're going to do this four times for 1,000 microliter pipettes. Next, we're going to add the buffer. So grab the bottle of Evian water and into a small flask, a hundred milliliter flask, pour out 20 to 25 milliliters of Evian water and then we can pour that in with the Giemsa concentrated stain. Now it's better here to undershoot the volume because you can always just add more buffer in later once you put the slides into the Coplin jar. And this is important because the slides are going to displace water. So if you put too much, then you're gonna get stain on where the numbers go on the slide and you don't want that so I put 20 milliliters here um, and then in the next step I'm going to add five more milliliters after I put the slides in just to be safe after you mix the buffer water with the Gamsa concentrated stain it's time to put in the slides so you can fit 10 slides in this Coplin jar, and the way we do that is putting them back to back. So the Coplin jar has five slots, but each slot can fit two slides. So what we do is we put the slides back to back with the uh, smear facing outward, the smears of both of them facing outward. So you want the numbers facing away from each other so that they can get stained, and you fit them all five slots, 10 slides, and you're going to leave them in for either 65 minutes for an unstained slide or 15 minutes for a restain. Notice here that, like I said before, I undershot the amount of buffer that I wanted to put in, but now I'm gonna add a little bit more so that the level the liquid level goes right up to the white part where you can write the numbers on. And that will stain the whole slide without staining the white area. Of course, don't forget to put on the cap while it sits because it's dangerous to leave out a chemical while it's unintended. After the allotted time is done, 65 minutes for unstained slides, or 15 minutes for a restain, it's time to rinse off the slides. So we're gonna put 
Evian buffer into a new Coplin jar. And from there, we're going to take out the slides from the stain and dip them into the buffer a few times to get some of that excess stain off of it. And we'll leave them in this Coplin jar for a few more minutes um, before it's time for a final rinse and to let them dry. Now you'll see that I have a large beaker and that beaker I've actually filled with tap water because the staining reaction is already done. Um, so it doesn't have to be the right pH um, buffer anymore. And this is just for a last rinse um, to get all of the excess GAMSA stain off the slide so that we don't stain our drying rack. So we're going to take them out of the rinsing Coplin jar, dip them a few times in our large beaker, and then place them on the drying rack to dry. Now, it's really important that when we're placing them on the drying rack, we're going to orient them so that the smear is not at the bottom, because we don't want to scratch off any of the cells that we have on our slide. So just make sure that the side that doesn't have smear on it is the one that's going on the bottom. And with that, we're about done here. It's probably safe to leave them dry for 24 hours to get that excess water off before we can look at them in the microscope and add that oil, immersion oil. Hope this was simple enough and happy diagnosing.